Hey everyone, this is Leslie and you're watching Midlife and Nailing It. If you could please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It helps my channel out so much. Today I have for you a recipe of chili mac that I just made up on a whim. This is moving week for us, so it's going to be real simple meals this week and i'm sharing one of them with you now let's get started okay everybody so this week i am making super simple recipes i am probably next monday gonna go ahead and just do a what's for dinner i won't be doing any recipe what's for dinners but i will show you what i make um, the nights that I cook this week because it is moving week for us. So this is our last uh, little bit here. Oh, what do we got? About five, six days left in this apartment. I am so excited to be out of here. So like 95% of my kitchen is packed up and in storage already. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and whip this meal up really quick. My son has been asking for chili mac and I've never made chili mac a day in my life. I don't know where he got the idea, but he uh, wants some. Once in a very great while, I'll make something called Cincinnati spaghetti. If you're from Ohio, or maybe you've heard of it elsewhere, uh, you know what Cincinnati spaghetti is. It's basically your leftover chili, and you make some spaghetti noodles, throw it on top with a little bit of purple onion on top. I've made that a few times in my lifetime. Um, but today I'm going to make chili mac. So basically what I'm going to do is just make the chili I always make and then make some elbow macaroni. <laughs> then mix it up. That's that recipe I decided. If I'm missing something or whatever, leave it in the comments below. Uh, it's just not something I've ever made. Um, so I'm just winging it. Uh, so yeah, so this is kind of my semi homemade chili that everyone thinks is like the bomb because it is and I'm going to show you my secret ingredient here and it's the Carol Shelby's chili kit. Oh my gosh, I love this and I'll show you what comes in it um, as I'm making this recipe and what I do with it. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut up one onion and a bell pepper. This happens to be an orange bell pepper, but you can use any bell pepper that you'd like. So let's go ahead and dice that up now. Okay, so that's all diced up and I'm gonna go ahead and get it in my pot here. Here's my pot um, with a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm gonna add two pounds of ground turkey. You could use ground beef here. So um, that's all gonna go in a pot and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So I've got this all in here and I'm using my handy dandy like meat masher. I doubt that's the official word, but that's what I'm calling it right this moment. Tomorrow I might call it something else. I don't know. Um, but I like to use this tool. It's awesome because it really grinds up your meat into little bits instead of like big chunks or whatever. Um, and of course you can uh, kind of mash it up to the consistency that you'd like. When it comes to chili or like anything taco -y. I like to do little tiny bits. It just is one's preference, but that's what I use. So I've got my heat on um, a high medium, and as it's cooking up, I'll show you what it looks like. So while that's cooking up, I'm gonna use my little uh, can opener here, and I'm going to open um, 14 ounces of just some diced tomatoes. Uh, you're gonna add this when your meat is all cooked up. But I'm going to go ahead and get that opened and then I'm going to go ahead and open two cans of tomato sauce. I'm using Kroger brand here and then I'm going to go ahead. This comes in that chili kit that I showed you. This is just called chili spices and it is so good you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get some scissors and open this up so it's ready to go in and I'll show you the order I do things in a minute. And then it also comes with some cayenne pepper separate. So if you don't like spicy things, you don't have to use this. If you only like a little bit of spice, use a little bit of it. We use the whole package. We like things spicy up in here. Um, and then it also comes with some mesa uh, flour and I'll show you what I do with that in a minute. I'm not going to open this one quite yet because the way I use it is in a little bit. So I will open this in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and 
get all this stuff opened and ready to go and you'll see how quickly this comes together once my meat is cooked up. Okay guys, so I've got everything um, ground up here and cooked up. Uh, the turkey is all browned up and see how I've got it in little tiny bits. That's how I like it, but of course it's preference. Um, my vegetables are al dente. Uh, when I do turkey, I actually leave the juice in that's part of my soup. When I do ground beef, it depends. Sometimes I drain all of it off or I leave just a little tiny bit. Um, it just depends on how greasy uh, the meat is that you get. Um, so that's your preference as well. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to like a two and I'm gonna start adding my other ingredients. So I'm adding my can of diced tomatoes, juice and all. And then I add two cans of eight ounces of tomato sauce. So 16 ounces of tomato sauce total. And then I take this can and I fill it up with water two times and add it in. So 16 ounces of water and that's what I'm gonna do now. One can, two cans. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stir all of this up. So this is what it looks like all stirred up. It's already so very pretty, but there's a few more steps to go. I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of my bag of chili spices from my chili kit that I use. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my packet of cayenne pepper. I just really like this kit, you guys, because when I get it, then the spices are fresh. And um, also I like it uh, that you can add in as much as you'd like or as little as you like. And then I do like uh, the amounts that they are. For us, it's the perfect amount of chili spices and of cayenne pepper. So I really, really like that. And then I love the amount of mesa flour that they give us. It's like perfect. So, and it's less expensive than buying all that stuff separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of this in and show you what that looks like. And so this is what it looks like with all the spices mixed in. And I do let it cook on the stove for a bit so that it gets all, in, you know, yummy and all cooked together and delicious. This is the perfect recipe for fall and winter coming up here. I'm making it right now just because I'm trying to get rid of what's left in my pantry and I want to make things that are easy for the week and recipes that will go a long way for the week since we're moving this week so we could have this for lunch tomorrow after dinner tonight that sort of thing okay so I am going to show you how I add in my mesa flour okay guys so ignore the condition of my pan we already had a talk in a previous video about my disappointment in Rachel Ray's pots and pans. We only bought them a year ago, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and melt about two tablespoons of butter. When that's melted, I go ahead and put my mesa flour in. And you want to use a whisk for this, you guys, but you know what? My whisk is packed up. All my silverware is packed up. So I'm going to try to do it with this. Hopefully it doesn't turn out lumpy because it shouldn't if you use a whisk, but I totally didn't leave a whisk out and I should have. I left the very bare minimum. Okay guys, so my butter is almost completely melted. So I wanna get my flour in here speedy quick because I don't want my butter to burn. You never want butter to burn. No matter what you're making, you just don't want it to burn. So I've got it in there and I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and try to pretend like this is a whisk. I'm gonna just set the camera down so I can really get in there and I'll show you what it looks like before I pour it into my chili pot. Okay guys, it worked out pretty good. We're pretty smooth here. So I'm just gonna let this cook for a couple more seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and get it into my chili and mix it into there with my spatula. I just wanted to show you what it looks like right before it's done and when I add it to my pot. So right about now, I wanna add it. So I'm adding it in and then I gotta grab my spatula, guys, so I gotta set you down. So you just wanna get it all stirred in until it kinda becomes one with the chili. And then I am gonna go ahead and just let all of this cook together for a bit probably about 30 minutes on um, like a two, like a pretty low heat. Uh, and then I will go ahead and actually, you guys, I'm gonna have to transport this into my crock pot because I've packed all my bowls and I need this pot to make the macaroni. Yeah, I really thought that through, didn't I? And I don't have my other pot like, this is all I've got, so I'm gonna make do. Um, so yeah, so once I get to the point where I've got it 
just sitting in my crock pot. I'm not even going to turn my crock pot on. I'm just going to use it as a bowl. Um, I will be back. So this has thickened up really nicely. It smells so good. It's so delicious. I really, really recommend uh, using my little cheat for making chili. This chili just turns out perfect every single time. No matter if you're having a bowl of chili or you're making chili cheese fries or in this case, new to our family, chili mac. So let me go ahead and get this into my crock pot um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just make up some elbow macaroni as directed. I'm sure we all know how to do that. Okay guys, so I've brought my water to a boil and I'm just throwing in these Mueller's Elbows macaroni. Okay guys, so my macaroni is done here and just like with any pasta that I drain, I go ahead and put it back into the hot pot and I add uh, about a tablespoon of butter and stir it around and then that way, see how I have nice pasta here that's not sticking together? That's just my method. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and dump my chili back into here. I might pull some out for my daughter because she won't touch chili. You know, it has meat in it. <laughs> just how she is. Um, but I might pull her out a little bit of macaroni if she wants it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my version of chili mac that I literally made up this morning looks like. Okay guys, so this is what my chili mac looks like. It made a ton, <laughs> like this is a lot, a lot of food. Um, and I just kinda added the chili in um, a scoopful at a time until it was the consistency that I thought it should be. I kind of used like, I mean, my goulash, what I think that consistency should be. Um, and so that's what I did. I did have some chili left over. So this would be enough for a couple people's lunch or one person's lunch. Um, so I had this much chili left over. And then this is a really big pot, you guys. This is a huge pot of chili mac. And so we will have this for dinner. And then we're a household that makes extra always so that there's leftovers for people to have throughout the week. And so there you go. There's my chili mac. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.